Governor Little ordered Idaho sheriffs, city police, and Idaho state police to arrest pastors, mothers, and business owners for not obeying his lockdown orders. Thousands of Idahoans were put out of business. Governor Brad Little simply does not understand the First Amendment here in Idaho. Religious liberties and the U.S. Constitution were decimated under Brad Little's orders. Now Brad Little is saying, I kept Idaho open. He is saying that his emergency declaration never violated or restricted any rights of Idahoans, never put Idaho on lockdown, and never allowed for mandates for masks or vaccines. If Brad Little's emergency orders never violated or restricted any rights of Idahoans, like he said, then why did police in Idaho strip the Bible from a pastor's hands, handcuff and arrest him for holding a church service? Why is an Idaho mother still being prosecuted today by the state for taking her children to the park? If Governor Little kept Idaho open, then why did he implement a four-stage plan to reopen Idaho? Governor Little is lying to us. He is a liar. And he must think the people of Idaho are so stupid that we will believe anything he tells us. I never mandated masks or vaccines. We responded to a crisis with a balanced approach and kept Idaho open. I'm Ammon Bundy and I'm running for governor because I'm sick and tired of all the political garbage that's happening in Idaho, just like you. I'm tired of our freedoms being taken from us and I'm tired of the liberal agenda being pushed from our Idaho capital. I'm tired of the waste and corruption that is in our state and federal governments. I'm running for governor to fight and win the conservative battle in Idaho.